Okay, let's work a little bit more on function evaluation, how to quote unquote plug things in to a function. All right, as you can see here, we have f of x equals x squared plus 3x plus 5. So let's start out trying to find f of 2. All right, what this is saying is where I see an x, I'm substituting a 2. Okay, so everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a 2. All right, so I have 2 squared plus 3 times 2 plus 5. All right, and now I can compute this as 4 plus 6 plus 5 or 15. Okay, and so this gives me the ordered pair of when I use 2 as my x, I get 15 as my y. Okay, let's do another one. All right, now let's try f of negative 1. So now, everywhere I see an x, I'm going to plug in negative 1. Now, word of warning here. Because 1 is negative, I'm going to use parentheses every time I substitute in the negative 1. Why would I want to do that? Note that right here on this term, I need to be careful to make sure I'm squaring negative 1. In other words, I need to make sure I do negative 1 times negative 1 to get 1 and not accidentally continue to carry on a negative 1. And so again, going back to the beginning, I have negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 3, because that's what I get when I multiply 3 times negative 1, plus 5. And when I add these numbers together, I'm getting 3 as my final answer. Again, this gives me the ordered pair of when I plug in a negative 1 for x, I get a 3 for y. This is an ordered pair. Lastly, let's do a symbolic evaluation. Symbolic means a variable with a number. So here I have f of x plus 2. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to substitute x plus 2 in parentheses instead. So as you can see again, everywhere I originally had an x, I instead now write an x plus 2. All right, how am I going to solve this? Well, remember, when I have parentheses squared, I need to write those parentheses twice. All right, and I can go ahead and distribute this 3. All right, so now what do I want to do? Well, since I have two parentheses multiplied together, I'm going to want to FOIL these parentheses. All right, so I get plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. And then I just continue to carry on my plus 3x plus 6 plus 5. And now I want to combine my like terms. All right, what do I have? Well, I have an x squared. All right. Where are my plain old x terms? Here's an x term, here's an x term, and here's an x term. So I have 2x plus 2x plus 3x gives me plus 7x. And then, let me get a different color here. All right. My numbers, I've got plus 4, plus 6, plus 5 gives me plus 15. And so when I plug in x plus 2 into my function, I get the new function x squared plus 7x plus 15.